Okay, time to go ahead and start. I got the case cleaned out. We have G Skill Flare X5 DDR5. Um, this is 6000 uh, speed CL36. Uh, so, I got this free from Micro Center uh, with purchasing the R97900. X, as you can see there, 12 cores, 24 threads of the top stuff. And then uh, we have this Oris Elite AX um, X670. Um, this was a great board from what I've seen online. Uh, it could definitely handle the 7900X, but it's also great with some of the features that it comes with. Um, this board retail for like $289. Um, I got it $50 off. For like, and so it came out to 239 RAM was free, and the 7900X was uh, 549 And so let's go. About to get this into the system. Man, look at this board. I'm telling you. Look at the VRMs. We got two 8-pin connectors here. Uh, we have a lot of, okay, so we got the RGB, CPU, CPU fan. Uh, got a 24 pin connector. This actually is Thunderbolt ready. Um, so but this is just a connection point, you have to have some type of card for that. Um, uh, we got the uh, front panel USB C. Um, this is PCIe 5.0 slot. And look at this. Uh, this has the extra slot here for oh, well, the extra um adapter piece uh, for the GPU. Um, and then we have the reinforced GPU bracket. Um, this comes with a total, let's see, we got one, two, three, and I think this may be four. So I think it's a total of, I think it has four M.2 slots on here. Um, and as you can see down here, we got the USB, USB 3.0. Um, we have another USB on this side. We got the front panel connectors. We actually have a clear uh, CMOS button right here. Uh, we got the actual audio. Um, and we have some more uh, fan connectors and stuff down here at the bottom. Let's take a look at the, the input output. So up at the top, we got the Q flash, which is the uh, BIOS flashback. We got the HDMI 2.1 port. We have some USB 2.0 ports, which is weird. 3.2, uh, 3.2, um, USB-C 20 gigabit. Uh, we got audio 2.5 gig LAN. And so, yeah, board is looking pretty good. Uh, so with the uh, Z73 cooler that we have here, I'm about to take off these brackets, um, and then we're gonna screw directly into the uh, to the back plate. And, um, and so, yeah, let's get it. We got this beast of a processor. Man, look at this packaging, man. Okay, I like the orange. Man, look at that chip. Yes, sir. Ryzen 9 7900X. Whoop, whoop. Man, look at all those pins. Okay, we got the arrow. I am so scared. Ooh, nice little... Okay, nice little fit, man, look at that. Ooh. So let's pull this back down. And it should be, is that it? Oh, I don't even know. Mm. And this is supposed to come off. Hopefully, I installed that correctly. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, we're going to see. All right, so it took me a little minute <clears throat> to figure this part out, but this is the new thing that's going on now. Uh, this actually latch, you know, it presses down right here. Um, so you don't have to screw anything in, it just latches down. So I'm going to turn this back around. And so we have the two terabyte 980 Pro that we are using as the boot drive. 
And so I think the way that this works, yep. And so this actually just closes down just like that, keeps it in place. Boom. There's nothing else to do. We don't have to screw anything in. And so uh, we take the actual plastic off. This is the heat sink. It goes over the top drive, which is the PCIe 5.0 drive. Even though we do not have a 5.0 drive, it's the slot that's connected directly to the CPU. And we're gonna screw that in. There we go. Nope. Slide it over there. And then we have two more drives we gotta do. All right, so we gotta place the rest of our drives in. We're opening this up. Oh, so we actually have three more. So it's a total of four that can fit on this board. So we have three more drives. Look at that, it's cool. All right, so let's get the rest of the drives in. Okay. So threw my capture card back in, um, and we got the new Oris board in. We got the G Scare RAM in. Um, we got everything again. Of course, this is my 3080 Ti, still beast of a card, rock straight. Yeah. Um, now it's time to boot this bad boy up. Make sure that it posts. Um, also, um, this RAM is free, but I'm gonna buy. Uh, some more round later on down the line. I need RGB, <laughs> but you can't beat free. So uh, I do know this memory trains uh, with these new boards with the X570. So uh, I know it's going to take at least a few minutes. I'm going to record it um, and see how long it takes for the memory train and boot up. And, um, and I'll get back to you. All right. So I just hit the power button waiting for this thing to hoping everything is good brand new cpu brand new motherboard brand new ram let's just pray it all talks to each other nicely <laughs> that's the goal everything to talk to each other nicely and waiting on the boot screen oh and yeah, we got the boot screen yes okay then let's go baby that didn't take long Okay, so as you can see, we got the Oris Elite X670, 7900X, 12 cores. We got the RAM. Uh, we haven't enabled XPO just yet. Uh, everything else is looking good. I'm about to get into some of these settings. And then I'll come back. Okay, so we actually had some changes along the way. I was actually able to upgrade to the Ryzen 9 7950X. Uh, so I know in initially in the video we had a 7900X, but I was able to get my hands on the 7950X uh, actually used from Micro Center, open box. Um, and so I got it for a really, really good deal. So uh, yeah, so we actually made some changes here. And so now as you can see in the BIOS, um, I have it installed. The install process is the same, but I, so as you can see here, uh, we got the 7950X 16 core 32 uh, threads we have 32 gigabytes of ddr5 ram i updated the bios um so we're actually on the latest bios uh which is the f6b uh for this board and uh yeah so if i actually go into uh the advanced mode which is f2 um i'm actually going to show you some of my settings uh, so I've been playing around with this for a while uh, now. Uh, so we have the XPO one settings, DDR5, 6000, CL36. Um, and then if we go down here, um, I made a couple of changes. Uh, so if we go to advanced CPU settings, um, see here, if I scroll down to precision boost overdrive, um, I changed this to advanced. Um, change the actual uh, PBO limits to manual um, and I actually limited the CPU to 180 watts uh, we got the TDC the EDC here these are the stock settings on that 
um, but the PPT um, is the actual wattage. Um, if we also go down here, Curve Optimizer, I actually have this set to all cores and negative 20. Now, I will be doing a separate video on undervolting, um, and the actual Curve Optimizer is a part of that. Um, and if I hit Escape, and I go back up here, um, this right here is the the key. So 180 watts, um, along with the actual curve optimizer, I was able to shave off about 10 degrees um, because the Ryzen 7000 CPUs max out at 95 degrees for the actual thermal limit and man um, it uses a lot of wattage um, and so but like I said um, I'll definitely go into a different video separate video about this I've uh, done separate videos about uh, CPU undervolting and um, and this is just some of the settings so now let's get into Windows all right now that we are inside Windows um, just real quick um, this is hardware info 64 um, and as you can see here um, as you can see here, we got the Ryzen 9 7950X. Um, it has a stock TDP of 170 watts, but that really doesn't mean a whole lot because depending on the way that you have the bio settings and the motherboard, it just it gets out of control. Um, anyways, um, down here, um, it has a base clock, uh, 4.5 uh, gigahertz. Uh, max boost is uh, 5850. Um, I have not experienced that. Um, usually I see around about, uh, if we go over here, uh, this shows you, uh, all the actual cores, uh, the highest, um, is around about 5.764, usually the lower the temp. Um, when I actually let the chip go completely, um, you know, to the motherboard limits, I've been able to see 5.8 a couple of times. On one or two cores, as you can see here, um, this top, this the maximum shows the column. It only shows like a couple of cores. Um, so like core one is if you know was able to hit 5.7. Core three, 5.7. And then if you scroll down, you don't see any more that hit those. It's usually like one or two cores that hits. Um, the real high max. So based off of the settings that I have, the rest of the cores, they kind of max out by 5.5 5 .5 gigahertz, stuff like that. Um, so I just want to show you this. Um, also with Hardware 64, we're going to be able to uh, take a look at a couple of things uh, when it comes to the, uh, the TDC limits and stuff that we set and also the power limit here that we actually set. So uh, we're going to do a Cinebench run. Um, as you can see uh, with Cinebench, uh, this is a, uh, we're going to do a multi-core, uh, which is a multi-threaded uh, run. Uh, they also have a single core. Uh, we're just going to look at the actual multi-core. Uh, my last Cinebench run, um, I was able to get 37,990. Um, but the Thing I want to show you with this is um, actually based off of the settings that I have, we're going to be able to see what the actual temps get up to and all that good stuff. So let's get started. And I'm going to do some YouTube fast forward. So this is going to start running uh, for about 10 minutes and we'll come back when it's close to almost being done. Okay, so we got about a little bit over two minutes left in this Cinebench run. And as you can see here, our current clocks is about 5.2 gigahertz on uh, eight of the cores, and then the other one's about 5.1. Um, usually is where it kind of averages out to. Um, and as you can see down here, uh, where is it? Okay, so the temps. So this column here is the actual current temp. Here's the max that was hit, and here's the average. So the max was 87 degrees max 80 i mean uh, average 86.4 um and as you can see here on my system and also you know showing 86 degrees um and when i had the actual chip x stop um actually what you can't see here and i'm going to do a separate video of this but when i had it at stock this immediately maxes out at 95 degrees <laughs> and so now um you know i was definitely able to shave off you know about eight degrees eight to ten 
Uh, definitely on the average, it's more about nine, nine to 10 degrees I was able to shave off, but that helps out a lot. Even though uh, AMD says that, you know, with this chip, you know, all these chips with the 7000 series, it's okay to perfectly run at 95 degrees. I didn't feel too comfortable with that, so did some tuning, um, and I was able to pretty much get back to the stock settings, you know, uh, from a performance standpoint, um, but was able to shave off um, some actual degrees in doing so. Uh, so this is pretty dope, and um, I'll show you what the score is in a second, um, and then we'll finish up. All right, so Cinebit score uh, came out 37,962, uh, which is close to the last score that we got, uh, which is also around about the stock score. Um, and as you can see here, I just want to show you um, the CPU PPT, which is power. Uh, that's the actual power limit. Um, you know, we maxed out at 180 watts, which is what the settings uh it's good for so it's good for 180 watts so uh yeah so this is just sending bitch i'm actually going to do um a separate video um like i said um about undervolting and how to be able to get you know the curve optimizer and stuff like that to work and then i am going to do a separate video just on benchmarks see what a few games um you know how it looks and uh some of the other stuff and uh, yes, yeah, so I'm doing a separate video with that, so make sure that this video is not as long. Um, but let me know what you think down in the comments below. I know I started off with a 7900X, um, but we finished up with a 7950X. So I'm super stoked, super excited about that. So yeah, so let me know what you think. If you want to see uh, more programs, different games, definitely let me know down in the comments below. If there's anything else that you want to see me do um, or test or benchmark, definitely let me know. Uh, but let me know, you know, if you plan on upgrading, um, I was able to get sweet deals on this and, uh, and can't wait to finish doing some more stuff to my system. Um, added in uh, some more changing out the fans lights. So I got some more upgrades. Thinking about doing another case upgrade. Um, and so, yeah, we got more content to come.